guys we're back for another adventure um this one's probably going to be the hardest one for me anyways this year we are going to head up that thing right there and uh this is headed to Ryder lake and this is called the like the alpine route and uh it looks pretty steep from right here. It doesn't look as steep far as far back, but <laughs> we've got a couple people. There's like a group up on top, and uh, we see some people coming down right now. Um, one thing we're gonna watch out for is was it like two weeks ago? Yeah, like two weeks ago, someone was hiking up this very route, and somebody up top like kicked loose a rock, and it almost killed the person. They had to be like life flighted off with a helicopter and search and rescue. You had to go get them and all that. So we're a little worried about pushing rocks down this. So we're going to have to be super careful. But it should be fun. Ryder Lake is awesome. So far it's so good. So uh, we're all idiots for going up it. Yeah, we're just going to join the <laughs> clan of idiots doing this. But You could go to the right though. Like kind of go over to the shadow. And then up. And then see how it kind of swings. Yeah. I don't know. We'll find her out, and uh, hopefully no idiots kick any rocks off. So, yeah, let's get this thing started. Alrighty, we're about to start the climb, and, uh, yeah, this is a little more daunting than even I thought. <laughs> and I don't like peak bagging at all, but I didn't want to hike eight miles either, so... I think the le lesser of two evils. Um, <laughs> yeah, we got boulders the size of fridges. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this thing is big. So, yeah, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna get some sweet drone footage, though. That's probably why I wanted to do this. I'm at, <laughs> it's gonna be sweet up on the peak. Get the drone to fly around. It's gonna be freaking awesome. So those guys are about halfway down. So oh my goodness of us getting hit by a rock now is a little less. So this is gonna be interesting. This is something else. We came all the way, can't even see it anymore. It's like around that. <laughs> I know. You go to look up and your pack's like, nope, nope, nope. So that's a pain. But so far, so good. Um, we are really close, so we're just gonna pale it out to the top and then. So we made it to the top. 
Um, pretty windy up here, but man, that was a climb. Uh, so if I had to give kind of like a rating on that climb, um, that was pretty gnarly coming up. Like the last, the last half of the ascent up is like just all sand and shale. So every time you step, it's just sliding and rocks are sliding, rocks are moving. It's like, it's pretty sketch. Um, so if I were to tell someone if they want to come to Ryder Lake, don't take this unless you have like a ton of experience. Cause that is just insanely hard, especially with a pack. You just have to take a long time getting up here and it's just all that weight's trying to push you back down. Um, the views are great as you can see. Um, yeah, the views are awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't come up here unless you have a ton of experience, a ton of time, and you really know what you're capable of. So if you're just getting into backpacking or you're not confident about it, take the eight mile trail coming in through Christmas Meadows to get here, because don't take this route. It's just not worth the risk. Um, some may disagree with me, but hey, there's had too many accidents happening these days. Somebody's got to say it, right? So yeah, we are probably going to head down. Um, so you can see, you can go down right here. Um, but that's pretty steep. That's like what we just came up basically. But I think if we head over here, it's like that area and come down, that's a little easier. So I think we're going to do that and then camp over at one of these lakes over here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll head out. Okay, made it into the basin. Man, that took us a total of about, let's see, start three hours. So not bad, not bad. Um, that was brutal though. We kind of went down a weird way, which I don't know if we'll do that. We'll probably just, I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, <laughs> Eric just yelled, I want off the mountain. He's a... Uh, He's just, he's yelling stuff now. That is a long ways down. Yeah, we're both sore. Um, three hours to get to the basin, so we kind of want to get out here earlier tomorrow, which is kind of bad planning on our part. Probably should have gone somewhere else besides here, if it, since we're just here for an overnighter. But, eh, what do you do? So, uh, yeah, we're going to go find a camp because we are exhausted. So we made it to the lake. Uh, we are exhausted. That took us, so we started at one. It is now five, 5.03. Uh, it took us, oh. <laughs> Eric hasn't even thought about the tank. It's just a hammock. Um, so we hiked four hours and probably 
I don't know how many miles, but we gained a metric ton of elevation. <laughs> so I am going to get some water, get my tent set up, and crash. So uh, we'll go to that point. Okay, guys, so like I said, we made it to camp. I just got done filling up all of my water containers that I have because I do not want to go back and fill up more water because I'm so tired. Um, tent set up. Eric's um, reluctantly doing his. Um, it is almost 6.30, so we're going to start dinner here soon. And then uh, see what the evening holds. But right now, so the plan is we don't want to go back over the Alpine Pass because it's just, it's pretty steep and it's pretty uh, rugged. Now, some people may think it's not, you know, it's not that bad. I know, like, Dustin with the Backpack Blazer, um, he's done it many times, and he's made it perfectly fine, which is awesome. Good for him. He's a good buddy of mine. Um, but for us, we just don't want to do it again. Um, we kind of looked, so going up and going down, and then vice versa, the opposite way. It's super steep, super um, rocky. It's just that shale and sand. So, whoops. Um, it is really kind of sketchy. And we just don't want to do it. So it took us f four hours from when we left the car to when we got here to camp. And we can hike an average, if we're just doing like a regular trail, we can average about three, depending on the train. Now this trail, I am fairly certain we can do three miles an hour. So we can make it back to Christmas Meadows, where you actually hit the trail to come to Ryder Lake, in about three hours, give or take a little bit. So on my GPS, which I don't have, my inReach, um, that's an awesome tool. I'm actually going to be doing a review about it here shortly, um, because I've used it all season and I really like it. But anyways, on my inReach, I text my parents. So my parents, I live in Farmington, so we're not really that far away from the UNAs. And I knew that they didn't have much going on um, Labor Day, so tomorrow's Labor Day. So I knew they didn't have much going on. And plus my mom likes to take drives. So I was like, hey, do you want to take a drive up to the UNAs, pick us up in Christmas Meadows, and then we'll go get, we rode in Eric's car, so we'll go get Eric's car, and then... We'll go get like a burger and canvas. And so they agreed to that. They thought it would, wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Because I knew they weren't doing anything. So yeah. They're going to come pick us up in Christmas Meadows. Tomorrow. Probably around like 12-ish. 1-ish. I don't know. And uh, we're going to get out of here. So it was kind of our bad. Because we thought. Um, this would be a good spot for an overnighter. Which it is, we're here, it's fine, we're going to have a good time, enjoy the area. But you really need like a couple days up here to really enjoy it. Um, so it's kind of like bad planning on our part, there's other places we could have gone, but it is what it is. We're going to enjoy the time. So we got to get out of here early because we have both started up school again. And so we have like homework that we have to get done for this week. And anyways... We're trying to just get in trips here and there where we can and uh, try and have a good time. So that's why we do these like quick hike in, hike out, which is kind of, it's good, but we'd like to spend more time, but you can only do what you can do. So like I said, let me see, we might start dinner here, I don't know, we'll see. But uh, yeah, so that's the update as far as what's going to happen today and the rest of today and tomorrow so that'll be good so we'll get to see the trail to hike out of Ryder Lake um, we're gonna get the drone out so don't worry I know you guys love the drone footage so that's definitely coming out I'm waiting for the light to get a little better it's pretty harsh right now so it would just wouldn't be as good and uh, yeah let's go to that point The 
see tonight on the menu. Nope, those are for s'mores. We're gonna do pepperoni. Mac and cheese. Now I just watched Dustin's video where he made this and it looks super good. And I'm kind of getting sick and tired of like the freeze dried meals. Just cause they're like, they're so big, they're expensive, they're good. Like the peak refills is super good. But I just wanted to try this cause I love white macaroni and cheese. And now I'm gonna add pepperoni to it. So it's gonna be awesome. around took some shots as you guys have seen I uh, got the drone out which was freaking awesome this thing is I've said it before but man I'm loving this thing anyways so um, yeah I'm just hiking around but if you guys can't tell I'm wearing a new jacket that's right so a while ago whoop, I posted a video um, about the Outdoor Research Helium 2 jacket. I will link that. Let's see, it'll be over here probably, somewhere. I'll, I'll put it in the cards. Um, but I just talk about how that jacket is basically a piece of junk. And I can say that with full confidence now because I've had multiple people reach out to me saying, hey, I've had the same experience. Um, it's not all it's cracked up to be, yada, 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 um, and it's just not that good. So I spent some time researching. I was going to get the Marmot Precip. Didn't end up getting that. I found this on Sierra Trading Post for like $60, which is a really good deal. Um, and I got it. So it's a Mountain Hardware. Mountain Hardware Exponent 2. And I've had some time to actually use this. Um, I'll do a more in-depth review, but for you, those of you that have seen the outdoor research video and now are watching this, this jacket is awesome. Um, I've taken it on my ATV trip that I did, which I'm still working on the video on that. Um, that'll be coming out sometime, I don't know when. Um, I've taken it actually multiple times four wheeling and then a 
I've brought it camping a couple times and had to use it, and it does extremely well. It's a little heavier, a little more bulky, um, but I am loving it. It's got pit zips, a zipper on the chest, two zippers on the front. Color sweet, in my opinion. And uh, it actually works pretty good as like a wind jacket. So, yeah, I'm really liking this. Um, so, kind of a little backstory while I am in the zone. Um, so, like I said, if you watch the video of the outdoor research, the Helium 2, I emailed out to research and I said, hey, this is what happened. Um, let me know what I can do. Let me know if this is, you know, par for the course for this item. And, uh, you know, just keep me in the loop. I need to know kind of what I need to do. And I was polite and I said, hey, haven't had this for a long time. I like your products. I've had good experiences, but this is just not that good. Um, and I waited like a month before I did anything, before I bought another jacket and uh, never heard from him. So in my opinion, from my experience, outdoor research, their customer service sucks. So that's a key thing for any product line, any service you're doing is the customer service has to be on par or that's, you know, a game changer. Um, so I basically said, screw it, went and bought a new jacket and I'm loving it. So this jacket right here actually, sorry, I got the drone and all that, but this right here is just a mountain hardware, like simple fleece. I don't know the name of it. I got it on another sale. But uh, that jacket is mountain hardware and it is awesome. This jacket, rain jacket, slash wind jacket is a mountain hardware. I have another mountain hardware. It's like a thermal hoodie, more for like winter stuff. That's got like the waffle, like layer stuff inside it. That's awesome. So right now, although they are expensive, and I am a college student. Mountain Hardware is kind of my brand. So, keep that in mind. Now we all have our same differing opinions. I'm not saying mine's the best. But from my experience so far, Mountain Hardware is the way to go. Um, and many people would also vouch for that. I've heard many reviews. But anyways, enough of my rants. I am just headed back to camp. The light is waning. Eric is probably almost done with dinner. He's making something in the fry bake, so we might go catch that. But anyways, yeah. So, question for all of, well, I said I was almost done with my rant, but one last thing. For all of you subscribers that are watching this who support me, thank you now in order to make my videos better what do you like more do you like more of the trip style the more just overview of the whole trip or do you want more commentary i've heard both i don't know leave them down in the comments below um and i will try and i'm still evolving with this channel and how i want to do it and how i want to um, change and become better as a YouTuber. So let me know what you guys want and I will try and include it in the videos. So yeah, let's go check out what hap what's happening at camp. You haven't burnt down camp yet, have you? Oh wow. He's really going out of here. I know you can't see me. Well, still have my hat on for some reason. But I'm all tucked into bed right now. 
I got my fleece on, got my thermals on. Quite cool out there tonight. Um, it is so 45 degrees. Not bad. I'm thinking it'll get down to like probably 35 ish. Probably near the morning time, anyways. But yeah, got everything set up. It is almost 11 o'clock. So yeah. I think I'm going to watch a movie. Um, me and Dustin are kind of the same. We watch movies and stuff in our tents. I don't know how many of you guys do that, but it's kind of nice. You download some movies, and you can just chill and kind of wind down. We're both pretty tired as is, so we'll probably fall asleep. Um, and I have the Nemo Tensor, and it is freaking super comfortable so yeah I'm gonna watch a movie head to bed um oh one other thing this is a huge bummer because today I saw as I was taking all the those photos on those drone shots I saw a bunch of fish jumping like just tons of fish jumping everywhere and I was like oh man I gotta go get my fishing pole didn't go get my fishing pole. I kind of forgot. But anyways, um, got back to camp. Yeah, yeah, we sat around. Came back in, and I was, like, moving gear around. And uh, I broke my fishing pole. So it's, like, strapped to my bag. And, like, the bad thing about the pole I have is it's, like, a telescoping one. And, like, when they are telescoped in, they don't stay in. They just kind of free float back and forth. So like it sloped downhill so all the poles came like extending out and I didn't see it and I flipped over my backpack and I bound up on something so that's awesome and uh, I know I'm referencing referencing him a lot but Dustin with the backpack blazer just broke his fishing pole on his last trip he posted you know I've broken my fishing pole on this trip so, buddy, I'm right there along with you. Mine's not as nice as yours, but I still broke it, so I can't go fishing. But, yeah, we're going to go to bed, and, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Thanks for sticking around. Good morning, guys. Um look at this view um let me just flip you around this is awesome look at that awesome view Whew. anyways it is eight o'clock we're probably going to get out of here in the next half hour 45 minutes depending um, slept really good. Didn't get cold. Uh, um, the only thing that sucked though is, um, I wore shorts yesterday on the way up that pass. And I have virgin white skin. And, uh, I got barbecued. I didn't even realize it till I got down here, but I was just fried on the back side of my calves and uh that was pretty tender all night and we're pretty tender right now but it's all good so yeah it is almost eight o'clock let's see so i think it's eight miles i could be wrong from here to the parking lot at christmas meadows i, I totally could be wrong we're going to leave about 8.30, 8.45, something like that. Like I was saying yesterday, fortunately we didn't plan this too well. We don't get to spend a lot of time here. But we still had a good time. We always do. But me and Eric are both um, taking college courses. And so we got to get homework done. Yeah. You do what you got to do. So, man. Look at that. Whew. That's awesome. 
I'm gonna try and get some more photos really quick before we head out. And uh, yeah, then I'll call it good. So let's go get some photos. Alrighty guys, so just to kind of show you where we came from, right in the center of the screen there's that little notch next to that peak. That's where we came up and then you can come back down. Um, and that was pretty hard. I mean, it you can't see it from here, but it comes way down, way down to the bottom here. And then you have to kind of hike back up this to get to the top of these cliffs and then come back down. So it was a pretty hard hike. Um, and personally for us, we don't feel like we want to go back down the other side because it's just so slippery. I mean, we've done stuff like that plenty of times, but not with these bigger packs. So we're opting to go eight miles out and then get a ride back to the car and go from there. been hiking for almost an hour right now it's going good trails not too bad steep in some sections but not bad um, it is 10 o'clock and if I had to guess we've gone a mile and a half maybe two um, I'm not good with judging distance how far do you think we've gone Yeah, it's pretty rough and windy, but I think it's better than going up over the pass. So, we'll see. We're making pretty good time, I think. So, pretty cool area you're walking down between these two kind of canyons with these giant cliffs on each side, which is really cool. So, Keep trucking along. Okay, so we've been hiking, let's see, now in three hours. And we just crossed the national forest boundary, which is not even like a quarter mile from the Osler Lake Trail turnoff. So, um, whoa. So we're, we're close. And uh, good thing too, because I will have to say, this is one rugged trail. Now I'm used to rugged. But seven and a half, eight miles of this, it makes for a long trail. So, yeah. So by time, if we would have went up and over the Alpine like shortcut up over Hayden Peak, it would have taken us about four hours 
this is taking us about will take us about three and a half um, efforts I would have to say about right now it's the same amount of effort but this is less technical and less sketchy so I don't know we're gonna deal with it and uh, it's been a good trip tiring though coming up over the alpine shortcut sleeping and basically just hitting the trail that was rough all right guys we are feet from the parking lot so i'm gonna close it out here good trip fun time um rugged trail but not bad we are ready to be freaking done with this shindig but anyways if you like what you see, hit that subscribe and stay tuned for more. We'll see you next time.